Okay, our next inductee is our first golfer to be inducted into our hall. That would be Jim Ball. Jim Ball is a class of 1965. Now, Jim, I understand. Where's Jim? All right, there you are over here. I understand that uh, you were one of the few guys in the class that got iron cards. Remember walking up to get your iron card? I understand that the priest who gave you your iron card always, your middle name is Q. James Q. Ball. <laughs> is that what they said? I understand that uh, one of the priests was the Father Blaine. Might have been. Anyway, Jim Ball was a, probably the best golfer. I, I would get a little argument from uh, from one Joe Plecker on that, but if he ain't number one, he's in the top two of golfers who played here at Loyola Playfield. Uh, he's an MSA champion. Led his team to three successive uh, team championships. And it's a pleasure to welcome uh, Jim back to uh, Loyola. So let's hear it for Jim Ball. You have to tell me which, which priest. Which priest gave you your honor cards? Father Bradley. Father Bradley, which you got honor cards. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I want to uh, thank the Hall of Fame Committee for electing me to the class of 2016. I was surprised to see this honor, and I honestly did not realize a uh, golfer would be considered, and I, and I mean that. I also want to congratulate the other inductees and their families. My dad got me started in golf at the age of six. He was a scratch golfer and he worked for uh, many, many hours on the golf course working on my game to improve it. In the beginning, I didn't really enjoy golf. I wanted to quit. And he insisted that I continue. And I want to thank him for that. In the 60s, the golf teams were composed of four people. They played a three-point match play uh, uh, tournaments against their, their opponents. You needed six and a half points to win a team match. And uh, Loyola's home course at that time was Mount Pleasant. Father Francis Nash was the golf coach uh, during my four years at Loyola. Actually, it was his first year as golf moderator. It was my freshman year. Father Nash would have spring tryouts each year at Mount Pleasant to establish his top four. And uh, once he did that, once the season started, he encouraged any other golfers to challenge any person who was on the team. And if they beat them, they took their place on the team. This uh, until they got beat in a challenge match the following uh, weekend. This encouraged everybody to try to keep their game at the highest level possible throughout the season. And I think it worked for us. Prior to entering Loyola, I played a, a lot of uh, junior golf. I was active in the uh, Washington area and the, uh, the Baltimore area. And as a result, I knew the, the high school players pretty, pretty well. And I knew that from a golfing standpoint, when I came to Loyola, I was coming at an absolutely perfect time. Uh, we were loaded with some really good golfers. In my freshman year, we had Denny Wynn and Joe Pugh were seniors. Bruce Whitaker was a junior. Butch Clemens and uh, Jimmy Gorsuch were sophomores. I know I'm not objective, uh, but I honestly feel that there, there wasn't a better team that could come out of this area than the 62 team that was undefeated and won the MSA championship. And I, I, I really believe it was the best. I've got somebody sitting at my table that doesn't agree with that. He went to Calvin Hall. <laughs> and, and, uh, but he's wrong. <laughs> uh, 
But anyway, uh, we the closest match we had my freshman year, we, we beat we beat City, which was the defending champion, ten to ten to two. The closest match we had was eight and a half to three and a half, and in golf terms, under that format, that was a kill. The 63 and 64 teams also went undefeated. Uh, in 1964, with the graduation of Danny Wynn and uh, Joe Pugh and Bruce Whitaker, we needed a fourth man to, to fill out the team. We uh, got lucky in that uh, uh, it, it, was, it was filled by uh, by Don Lewis, who was actually a senior at the time. He had not even played golf the prior three years. He played really solidly throughout the year. And at the end of my junior year, we had, had won 33 straight matches and uh, three straight MSA championships. In my senior year, I was the only returning member of the prior year's golf team. And I knew we would have a good team, but we probably wouldn't uh, win the championship. Our objective was to keep the, the winning streak going as long as possible. Uh, we won our first couple matches pretty easy and then we were scheduled to play poly. In golf, the rules are your friend. My dad had always taught me to know the rules and use them to your advantage. Polly had a better team than us. And before, before the match, I had a brainstorm that, that seriously almost got me kicked off the team. Father Nash did not arrive before we teed off. This was before the era of cell phones, so I didn't really have a chance to talk to him about what I wanted to do. But my thought was, I knew that our fourth man was, was probably going to lose three points. And I thought that we had a better chance of winning if I took the fourth man and put him in that, the number two slot and moved our two to three and three to four, giving those two a better chance of winning points. I want to emphasize that that broke no MSA rules, no golf rules. <laughs> I mean, really, we, we were allowed to do that. And I did it, and we teed off. I didn't see Father Nash until the ninth hole. And I could tell, I, I had my own match to worry about, and when I saw, he was very upset. And at the end of the match, and by the way, we did win six and a half to five and a half, he was still very upset. And he told me, he said, Jim, what you did broke no rules. He said, and as a matter of fact, it probably was pretty clever, but you changed my lineup without my approval and if you ever do that again, you'll never play another hole for Loyola High School. Now, I don't know, there's a couple people in here that probably know Father, knew Father Nash. And I knew he meant it, and of course I never changed another lineup. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, we, we finished out the year with uh, a couple losses. We had a good, uh, a good season. It wasn't a, uh, we didn't win the championship, but but it, you know, like I said, it, it went as good as we could have hoped. In my four years at Loyola, I played in every match. I lost one match, and that was to Frank Labor, who some of the golfers might know. He, he played, uh, he was a pro here for, for a number of years. I lost to him as a sophomore. I had an opportunity to play him again again when I was a junior and a senior, and, and I, I did win those matches. I played uh, number one for Father Nash for my sophomore, junior, and senior years, and I did finally win the uh, individual when I was at the championship when I was a, a senior. But I do realize that the reason I'm here tonight is because of our three straight undefeated NSA championships. And I realized but we could have never done that without the uh, talents of people like Danny Wynn, Joe Pugh, Bruce Whitaker, Butch Clemens, Jimmy Gorsuch, and Don Lewis. 
and I want to thank them. It was a privilege to play with each of them, and a lot of fun, and I want to thank all of you for being here tonight. Thank you.